All right, we are good to go. Welcome, Amy, to another episode of Five Questions. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? I am awesome as always. And Amy, you are in, I think you said Ohio? I am in Cleveland, Ohio. Awesome, good. And you got your five questions lined up? I do. Awesome. I mean, I don't have five questions, but mm, they, it's, it's there. We'll, we'll see what comes through. We'll get us through as much as we can in about 20 minutes. Okay, and maybe good. Maybe your cat will come up with some questions too. He's sitting next to you there. He wants to participate. <laughs> yeah, this is the good one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do you got for me first? Okay, so I've been studying law of attraction for quite a while, and I have made significant. Oh, I'm much further in in such a better place than I was. So that's great, and I'm I'm very good at focusing on that. But I seem to get stuck in. I don't know what to do. I'm not young. I don't know where to go sometimes with my life. I'm a server, a bartender. I have a had great job, but I never felt good enough to make big money to do things I really wanted. And I'm not sure I, I did the belief tree and I, I feel lighter, but there's still something stuck and I, okay. I, it's not good enough. Okay. So, so there's a couple of things that kind of stand out there. So one, one of the first things you said is I don't know where to go with my life. Mm -hmm. And, and I would say, you know, whenever I hear that from somebody, it's always about kind of taking a step back to realize that everybody really just wants the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. So as Abraham Hicks says, you know, every desire that we desire, the reason we want that thing is because of how we believe that thing is going to make us feel, right? Mm -hmm. And if you were experiencing a life of constant and consistent happiness and pleasure, would it matter where you were or what you were doing or what your look like your life looked like as long as you were really happy all the time? No. No. It would. So what most people end up doing is is they don't realize or recognize that happiness is pleasure is what they really want, right? Right. We are programmed to automatically think that we need to reach for something and to grasp onto something and manifest something to find that level of pleasure. So that's a great first question to um, establish this reminder for everybody that's watching and yourself that what you really want is pleasure and happiness. So that's a good reminder to take a, kind of take a step back and refocus on instead of trying to figure out what a mm -hmm. life of pleasure and happiness looks like that I can achieve stepping back and finding that happiness pleasure in the day to day. So in one of the collective live calls, one of the members came on and this was somebody who'd manifested millions. They were running a million dollar real estate business and they had lost it all. And this guy, he was seeking pleasure in the big things. And he said, Nick, now that I'm not experiencing the big things, it's a very hard for me to find pleasure. Now the good news is, is it doesn't matter where you at. If you can find little things to practice choosing to tune into pleasure with, then that's going to activate more pleasure in your vibration. The end result of that is going to be more pleasure in your physical reality, right? Mm -hmm. So my advice to everybody for seeking more happiness, more pleasure, which is what you really want, is mm -hmm. finding pleasure in the small things. Finding pleasure in your cup of coffee, right? Mm -hmm. Finding... Mm -hmm. Finding pleasure in going for a massage, finding pleasure in your comfy bed and your pillow when you wake up in the morning. If you can take the time to find the pleasure in the small things and bask in the pleasure, then the bigger things and the clarity of what you want to experience next is almost mm -hmm. going to start to, to begin to find you because you're practicing those vibrations of pleasure. Does that make sense? Yes. And, and on the last call that you did the the collective call really got I, I really started thinking about it this quarantine has actually been really good for me and I've started to take pleasure in things that I haven't done for a long time but I 
so I've always been an artist yeah. of sorts and yeah. I've really been painting a lot and I sold seven paintings. I've never sold that many Amazing. this month. Yeah. Three have gone through. And so, you know, as an artist, that's how it goes. Yeah. But I, I get excitement about that and I feel good. And then I go back and go, uh, I'm not really that good. I don't know. Okay. okay. I got lucky. Okay. So a, the reason you've been selling these paintings is mm -hmm. because my guess is COVID-19 is forcing people to slow down. Yes. Right? And, <laughs> Good. and when you slow down, what happens? You get in the receiving mode, right? Mm. Because mm. people, when you're go, 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 that's energy out, energy out, energy out, energy out. A lot of the times it's through effort, Right. Right. The right. receiving mode, you want to have a good balance of energy out and energy in. Most people are barely getting in the receiving mode ever, and they're not allowing that energy in, right? The receiving mode. So this COVID-19, what it's doing is it's forcing people to stay at home. It's forcing <laughs> people to slow down. And for those people who are studying things like law of attraction and are finding joy in this process of being at home and finding ways to be happy, even if you're in quarantine, that slowing down effect is putting you more in the receiving mode, so you're letting more in. Mm -hmm. And the more yeah. you can practice that, especially from that vantage point of feeling good and pleasure, the more you're going to let in. Now, if you're, if you're letting in that much while practicing this piece of resistance of I'm not good enough, then yeah. if you can let go of that I'm not good enough, momentum's going to pick up even more. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I can't, I, I know I've been a little bit sloppy and, um, just, I, I, I have your book. I was reading your book and I think something just clicked, um, listening to you, listening to Abraham that, um, really getting an alignment hasn't been, 